Hello, my name is Tom with SNS Cycle. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the SNS ProTune 2 software on your computer and get it communicating with our SNS VFI fuel injection module. These fairly simple procedures account for more than half of our tech calls here at SNS regarding ProTune 2 and our VFI modules. After all, if the computer and the module aren't communicating, you won't be able to do anything. So let's get started. The first thing we need to know is what operating system your computer has. SNS ProTune 2 software requires Microsoft Windows XP Service Pack 2 or later, or any of the later Microsoft Windows operating systems in order to run. ProTune 2 is not compatible with Macintosh computers. That's the main reason we need to know what system your computer has. The other reason we need to know the operating system of your computer is for additional hardware that may be required and its driver compatibilities. So, the question is how do I know what, what system I have? We will begin by going to the Start menu. Click the Start menu button, then select Control Panel option. If your Control Panel opens in Category View, please change it to either large or small icons. From this point, scroll down to the bottom and select the system icon. The system's property box is where you will be able to see the version of Windows that you have and also whether you have a 32 or 64-bit operating system. So what do you need to connect your computer with the VFI module? Well, really it depends on what computer you have and which VFI module that you have. The larger of the two is the Magneti Morelli style module. This replaces stock Harley-Davidson Magneti Morelli manufactured modules from 1995 and a half through 2001. The smaller of the two SNS VFI modules is what we refer to as the Delphi style module. This fits all 2001 to 2007 Delphi equipped Harley-Davidson EFI models. It also fits all Softail models up to 2010 and Dyna models up to 2011. Both Magneti Morelli and Delphi style SNS VFI modules have been produced with RS-232 9-pin serial port communications and the latest with mini USB port. Communications with an SNS serial module use a special serial cable. There are only three pins remaining in this cable. This will help to prevent power feedback that can damage the module itself. You can get a cable from SNS or if you're in a pinch, you can simply modify any existing serial cable simply by removing the extra pins. The computer that I will be using today has both USB ports and the 9-pin serial connection port. If your computer does not have a 9-pin serial connection port on it, you will be required to use a USB to 9-pin converter. If you need to use a USB to serial converter, we suggest to ensure compatibility. Look for a converter that contains a chip manufactured by FTDI or Prolific. These can be purchased regularly from Amazon.com or Best Buy. Radio Shack brand GigaWare converters are not recommended due to driver issues and are not compatible with SNS modules. Now let's go to the SNS website. Simply type in www. Dot sscycle.com. Go to the Tech Info header, scroll down to Engine Control Software. Here you can download the latest ProTune 2 software. Save this to your desktop. You can also scroll down a little farther and download drivers for your USB to serial adapter, saving these to your desktop as well. Now, we can unzip the downloaded files. Then we will double click on the executable file. Click next and follow the on-screen instructions. When you see this box, seeing that Windows cannot verify the driver publisher, go ahead and install the software driver anyways. We're now ready to connect the computer to the VFI module. 
There are several scenarios depending on your computer and the style of the VFI module, but don't worry, we'll cover them all. We're going to start off with the simplest, the USB module, and then we'll continue on a little bit later on with the serial module connection. First, let's look at the connection procedure for a module with a USB interface. The first thing you'll need to do is take your USB cable and plug it directly into the computer. Then we'll take our mini USB and connect it directly with the USB port on the module. It's that easy. Let's start by making sure that the ignition switch is in the on position and the run stop switch is in the run position. Once you power the motorcycle on, you will notice a small icon appear in the toolbar next to the clock. You will see that this is Windows installing the Vehicle Control System Interface Driver. You are now ready to simply double click on the Protune 2 icon. You should be communi getting communication with the motorcycle. You will notice a green bar in the lower right hand corner indicating communication. So, you might ask, what happens if I don't get a green bar at the bottom of Protune 2 here? As you say that I should. Well, Protune 2 is not communicating with the module at this time. Go through the process again. If Protune 2 communicates with the module, when plugged into a different USB port, you may have a bad USB port on your computer. If your computer still will not communicate or recognize the VFI module, you may have to just simply update your driver manually. Begin by going to your start button control panel. Once again, if you're in category view, please select large or small icons. Scroll down and select the system icon. Next, we will go to the device manager link. Select other devices. Double click on 55-0069. Select the driver tab. Select update drivers. Browse my computer for additional software. Click the Browse button and select C Program Files SNS Cycle Protune 2 Highlight the driver folder and click OK. Now, Windows will ask you to verify the publisher. Simply go ahead and install the, the driver software anyways. You have now updated the vehicle control system interface driver. Simply close the dialog boxes. Once you've updated your driver, relaunch Protune 2. Double clicking on Protune 2, you should have a green bar indicating communication at this time. Now let's take a look at setting up to communicate with one of our older modules with a serial interface. If you have a newer computer with USB ports only, you'll need to use a USB to serial converter like this one here from FTDI. As we've already discussed, you'll need to make sure that you have the correct driver installed for your computer before utilizing this device. Now let's install the driver for your USB to serial converter. We will follow the same sequence, unzipping the driver and then clicking the executable. Now that we've installed the driver for the USB to serial adapter, we need to know which communications port we're communicating as. Let's go back to the control panel, remembering to select small or large icons, scrolling down to system, going back to device manager. In device manager, you're going to go down to ports, comms, and LPT. Opening this up, you will be able to see your USB to serial converter and which communications port it is emulating. 
If you're not using the serial converter and you're using a COM port in the computer, you will also be able to see which port it has at this point. Remember this port number and close the boxes. Now, let's connect the special serial interface cable to the SNS serial ECU. Once the ignition system is on and the fuel pump has stopped running, double click on the ProTune 2 icon. Go up to the options menu and select serial port settings. Insert the COM port number your USB to serial adapter is using or simply click the auto detect button. Click OK and ProTune 2 will begin communicating within a couple of seconds. If you happen to get an error partway through loading of, of a table, you may be encountering a driver compatibility issue with your translator. If this happens, contact SNS Technical Support Department and ask for electronic support for further assistance. So, now we've established communication between ProTune 2 and the module. Now we're ready to take advantage of all the features ProTune 2 has, including your diagnostics. But that's something to be covered in another video. Keep in mind that the ProTune 2 software is designed for the professional tuner and provides almost unlimited control. You should be aware that tuning errors can result in serious engine damage. If you're not confident in your knowledge of fuel injection tuning, we recommend that you consult a professional tuner. We hope that this video has answered your questions about setting up the ProTune 2 software and establishing communication with the motorcycle. If you still have problems, you can still give us a call. We can walk you through it. Thanks for watching.